first rule of correctly cutting wood is eye protection. I'm at the pizza store. Gun like a beacon. Gun like low, but we go be alright. Yeah! <laughs> Look at the carpenter baby in her natural environment. Looking like a true craftsman. Twerking. She's doing a twerk for the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> How you doing in there, baby? We doing this, yo. I mean, excuse me, you two. You doing, doing it? Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here's the bed frame, people. You're starting to finally feel like a professional. Allow me to walk you through what we've been doing so far, ladies and gents, and in betweens and all arounds. So last night, um. Where did we leave off? Ouch. Pause. <laughs> Something just happened. We have this like rusty part of... Look, our bumper's all like rusted down there so we're gonna have to get it covered. But we haven't done that yet and I just cut myself. So I'm gonna go clean it before I die of rust poisoning. Hi. Okay, I'm better now. We didn't have any band-aids so this will have to do. Uh, so, what we did yesterday was build the beginning of the bed frame. We, well, we put the walls up, um, and I think I explained to you about the whole, like, putting, we putting the metal screws into the van. You know, it can be really tricky, but just believe and you can achieve. And then the bed frames, these are one by fours, and we have them bracketed down to the floor with one little piece in between, doubled up and then one piece that's sort of holding them all together along the top. And then we have the same size, one by four is going across, and they're nailed up here, and then they're bracketed to the sides, like so. Now, our plywood ended up, like our floor ended up being uneven. You can see where the Gorilla Tape is. It's higher than it is on this side. So we ended up making this little chunk to put underneath so that it, so that it would match. Um, and we haven't even put that down yet, but that's what it is. So these are all 20 inches tall. Um, give or take. Give or take, and these are these outside ones are six feet wide and those inside ones are five inches five feet eleven inches wide. If you're using the same sort of van as us and it works out, then those are the dimensions. So next, since we've already bracketed, like these may be bracketed nicely. It's pretty in there, like it's not jiggling, but we're going to add legs to the bottom on the outsides just to make it even more supported. You can see Matt working on the first leg over there. It's been cut out and we're gonna put those on the sides just to make it even more secure. We were driving yesterday and thank God we were like half a mile away from my dad's house because we were like, we were on our way home from the grocery store and we just heard like a chink and all of a sudden the engine light comes on, the battery light comes on, the oil light comes on um, and it's because that we have a serpentine belt, which is a belt that pretty much runs through the engine and it runs through the alternator and it basically like powers everything under the hood. And so it dry rotted, I guess it's for the same reason that our tires were dry rotted because whoever had this van before us must have just like left it in New Jersey and like had it in a lot of snow. And when they drove, the salt from the roads would come up and they never got it washed underneath. So we have a lot of rust underneath there from the salt damage and our tires, you know, we had to get new ones and now this rubber belt thing is out, so 
one thing after the other, but um, I'm so grateful that this happened here while we have the help of my dad and his friend who is a mechanic. All right, so the bed is almost done. We added some legs on the outside, like you can see, just to give it like some extra support. And now I'm gonna screw in the tops. I'm gonna screw this plyboard. So this plyboard that we did was- um, Half an inch. Yeah. Oh, this is a half inch. Yeah, okay, one. everybody, this is a half inch. <laughs> and that is a quarter inch. Okay. Yeah. Quarter inch on the walls, half inch for the bed. Um, a lot of people, like uh, my dad and a couple of his friends said that we should have gone a little bit thicker for the bed, but I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy and we have slats going underneath. So, we're good. So up here, we cut the the half inch ply board in two pieces because it, it, you could not we could not get it in the van without doing that. And we put these menders on the top to secure them together. And now Matt is measuring out the other half because that half is going to have two lids that come up with the door with the hinges that we bought, so that when we're in the van, we can access the stuff that we need, like clothes and snacks and whatever, without having to come outside of the van when we're stealth camping. It is the final day of the van build. And my uncle came to the rescue. Oh yeah. Somebody who actually knows what they're doing. <laughs> Matt's finished doing some finishing touches. Here we go. You go, baby. You know, like if, if you're in your own bag. And hey, we need 300 pounds of pure muscle. You know? <laughs> That's right. How is it? Yeah, it's good. Move around, roll around, see if it's if it's gonna. Right? <laughs> it's good. Abuelo tested and approved. <laughs> always, always cut outside of the line because you can always take off more, but it's almost impossible to add. Let that be carpenter tip number one for you. Oh Lord, now you're a carpenter? Best believe it. <laughs> All right, go go in. Let's let's tr let's test it out. Give me that piece. Here's our kitchen drawer. Getting some staining on it. Beautiful work, baby. Master. <laughs> and here's what we got going on here. We officially have a ladder. Thanks to my uncle. Thank you very much. He went in and got, I just got this ladder off of Amazon. Screwed it in to the bottom. And and we have a hole for our solar panel. It's raining outside, so it's wet, but we have a hole for our solar panel. Thanks to my uncle, he drilled a hole through, and then we put 
a rubber grommet around it today and we're gonna fill it with more stuff also but for now it looks like that here's the inside here's our tapestry we're gonna put on the ceiling um, I have a staple gun that I got staples for it's gonna do that but I'm gonna do some I'm, I took all the reflectix off so I'm about to redo I'm about to put fabric over them on the inside to make them look cute and yeah DT to the rescue fixing our ratchet <laughs> this is where Matt started <laughs> and she made it look nice and clean and now she's fixing the end this is the rest oh yeah this is the rest of our mattress we cut that we're using for a little side cushion wait Titi What happened? Is the batteries included? Yeah, yeah, I checked it. What does that do right there? This is the sensor. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, we lit. We lit. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, they are. Like a stuff, litter, and then our kitchen drawer. And then I guess you can't really see on this side, but Rumi's backpack and clothes. And, and excuse me, what is that generator. golden trim that looks so beautiful? Yeah, Didi did, did all the golden trim, and Didi did the golden trim above. Wait, is the nasty cat gonna be sleeping there with y'all? Yeah, Rumi sleeps in his bed right there. Oh. With us, he loves that damn bed. I would love a bed like that. Oh, yeah, he so. loves it. He gets he stays warm. Usually, he won't be in it though. He'll good be with us. Like baby. Good job, damn Matt Hill. Thank All you, I Mrs. know Sharon. is that I got a green elbow. <laughs> I got a green damn elbow. She, did, she hurt herself <laughs> on behalf of, a, of the van. Mm -hmm. Get it all done. <laughs> <laughs> and the golden trim above. I had to put a little special touch. And she provided the tickle. <laughs> <laughs> That's your power your good luck yep. on your trip and yep. safety <laughs> and it's perfect because you decided to uh, uh do the purple like yeah, yeah right we didn't even think perfect. about that i didn't know perfect. that's the one i decided to give you yep. i have a lot of stuff but I, and I, we are and i have a little end of this thing hanging on the rearview mirror no, that's awesome. no. we are officially out of here Can you <laughs> We just left Georgia. And so it begins. I just set the uh, dime at the trip meter at zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero! Here we go. Ruby's back there in the bed. Everything is looking amazing. My baby in the driver's seat. You know how we do. No. You know how we do. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm sitting here crying because we did it, we're, we're driving. I can't believe we're, I can't believe we're actually driving to Miami right now in our van, in our home, in our new home, we can't even see it. So proud of us. Big thing gone. Big thing oh, gone, big but. Thing gone. Oh. 11-11. Oh. Big Ting gone. <laughs> Tell me do you know about Big Ting. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling, Rumi? Are you happy? Meow if you're happy about van life. Yeah!